everyone and welcome back to Horizon Slate. Today's video is super exciting because we are decorating for the very first time our home with Christmas. As you can see, I have all of my decor laid out around me just to give you guys an idea of the color palettes I was trying to go with. It is very traditional kind of palette. Last year we didn't get to decorate because we were in a transition to moving into this home, so Christmas decorating wasn't anything on my mind at that time. My daughter is two now, so I feel like it's nice to kind of make Christmas a little bit more special this time. All this decor was super affordable, and I made sure of that because I don't like to spend too much money on seasonal decor. Everything here was just a little bit over 100, and it's a lot of decor. We spent yesterday like half of the day driving around. We went to like four or five different stores looking for best quality yet best priced decor as well. And I will show you guys the prices and give you guys you know, the stores where I bought everything in case you find something you like and you want. Let's see how everything comes together. Okay, let's start on this side here. This pillow here is really good quality. I got this one from Ollie's Bargain and it was only $5.99. Beautiful pillow, good material. These are also from Ollie's $1.99 and over here I have three of them. So this was $6 for this arrangement and then this vase I got for $9.99 at Walmart. I figured I can use it even after Christmas. This one here is from Dollar Tree along with these two wraps. I want to wrap this with the white. I love how that looks. And then I also like the pattern because it kind of goes along with the pillow. Kind of similar pleat look. Then we go here and this guy here. I love the flocked look so much. I wish I can get a Christmas tree like that. I'm still looking around for a Christmas tree at the moment because I'm very picky about Christmas trees. But this was $9.99 at Walmart and I want to put it above the fireplace area because I always have a wreath there for each season. I got these guys here. They're like thin greenery and I have the columns that I want to wrap. We have two columns kind of separating the dining table and the living room. So I wanna wrap these. These were so cheap. These were a buck at Dollar Tree. So if they don't look good, they're only a buck anyways. Of course you have to get some Christmas traditional candies. I got these for a buck and I wanted to put them into here. This guy here, I absolutely love because it looks like candy canes and there's two of them. This one's a little bit different, but these were from Walmart and they were $5 for both which is a great deal. And they're 100% cotton, so they're really good material. This is a pre-lit garland. It's not the prettiest, but it was very, very cheap. So hopefully it looks good when we put it on. I know the lit ones are really pretty. This one was only $8.99 at Ollie's. Moving on right here, I got this in the fall when I was looking for fall decor at a thrift store. So a good idea is to go to thrift stores to see if there's any good decor. This is only a buck and I got it to put the candy cans in. This was also a buck from Walmart. They had a very big arrangement of different kinds. And moving on right here, this is so pretty. It's like a fluffy, cozy looking little Christmas flower. This was $2.99 at Walmart. This candle here, I absolutely love. This was from the Target Dollar Spot. It was three bucks. And I love this. I love like flakes and white, you know, simple looking kind of decor. This is definitely my type of style. It and it also smells good, so that's a plus plus. Moving on to these. I absolutely love how these look. It's like such a light color gold, which I really like. And I like the different shapes. This was only $4.99 at Walmart. And if we need more, I can get another box. But for now, I just got one. You can also just decorate, like put it in a bowl as decor. You don't necessarily have to put it in a Christmas tree. And then here, sounded really good. Raspberry and fresh apples. And it just looks really pretty too. So I'm going to display this and then drink it later on. Moving on to this little guy. This one was from the Target spot also. And I love the gold and the white. That's kind of like my style. Lots of whites darker red and gold and this one was only $4.99 this one was also from the thrift store earlier I got this it has a tag and everything so it's brand new and I just thought it was so cute with the little bird and like real wood and everything it's just very unique that was $2.99 at the thrift store moving on to this little guy here also from Ollie's I think it's a cute arrangement it was $2.99 at Ollie's okay moving on to these two guys another tip always get decor on the day 
after Christmas because it will be half off or even more. And that's how I got these two beautiful trees. I love this part here, like the organic look. They are light up and they are $8 originally and I got them half off after Christmas for $3.99 at Aldi's. Moving on, I had to get some stockings and these are woven stockings. There's four and I think it was $19 or $18 at Amazon. I had to order them and it was so cute because the person that um, sold it at Amazon like wrote a little note and they gave like an extra little gift which is like a cute little I think it's a bracelet or a necklace or something but I think that is so adorable over here are some Christmas lights this was also after Christmas at Aldi's and they were I think they were like a dollar I don't even remember a dollar or two and I got two sets. I think I even had three, but I can't find the other one. These two guys, brand new in a box, were from the thrift store for $2.99. And how cute are these? They're real wood and super adorable. Love the flakes. That's definitely my style. Um, here is from Ollie's, $2.59, and it comes with two small ones. I like the darker red. Okay, I think we got everything in, on the table. Oh, actually, I left one out. This here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but it is from Ollie's, and I absolutely love it. I love this fur top, the woven. It was $4.99, which is a really good price for stockings um, of this condition especially, but they only had one, and I was looking for three because we are a family of three, so I might return it, or I might just hang it along with them if it kind of goes. We shall see. Moving on over here. This guy I'm just gonna hang in the front door. And I got this from this thrift store. I think it was two years ago for like $4 or $3 or something like that. It's kind of getting raggedy, but I'm gonna put it outside. Moving on, I got some wood, firewood. And our fireplace, it doesn't use real wood, it's gas. But I just love the look of like real wood. So I might put that in a basket in front of it to give it a cozier little look. Okay, another tip when you're decorating is to use things that aren't necessarily Christmassy. Like this guy I had bought like three years ago, not for Christmas, I bought it, but I had it in my closet and I figured this does look very, very Christmassy, the woven cozy kind of look, which is exactly what I like. So I'll definitely use that. And these, this pillow also is red. I might use this one, I'm not sure. I have two of them. Um, it came with a couch that I bought and then we sold the couch, but we forgot to sell these. So you can always use things that aren't necessarily for Christmas, but could definitely pass for Christmas decor. So let's start decorating. I'm starting in this fireplace area in the living room because I was most excited to see how this would come together. It's always a good idea to start in an area where you are sure about the decor you'll be using, and I feel like this area is like the centerpiece of all of the decor. It's such a cozy nook. I'm starting by putting this garland and as I was putting it, I was thinking if I could go back, I would definitely pay a little bit more to get a better quality. This one was a bit stiff and it was kind of like I got what I paid for. But after fluffing it and you know turning it on and you know working with it, it was decent looking. I would just prefer a more flowy, more natural looking one than this kind of style. After I was done with that, I took out the stockings that I bought from Amazon from their bags and I had to kind of stretch them out to make them look a little bit more fuller because they had been in the bag for a while and then I'm just going to hang them up with these little stick-ons. I decided to just go with the three white ones instead of placing the red one in the middle like I was thinking of doing. I just like this like more neutral kind of look. It's just more peaceful and very cozy for me. Now I'm just taking out the firewood and putting it into the basket to give this area a super cozy look. I'm picking the most appealing ones for the decoration and I absolutely love like the cozy look for Christmas decorating. Just firewood, warm blankets, warm drinks. I love that style because winter gets 
cold and all you want to do is cuddle up next to the fire on the couch. I had to clean up as I decorated because it was getting really, really messy. So I just cleaned as I went. Now I'm just putting these two little Christmas trees in the side, lighting them up, and then turning on the fireplace to kind of make it come together. In this area, I struggled a bit with all of the pillows and blankets. Um, I kind of just switched it up, kept moving things around, and just couldn't get it right. I wanted to give this area like a cozy, layered, warm look. And you will see at the end, it was completely different to how I started with. For the coffee table, I tried a few different things. You'll see me rearrange and move things around and again at the end it wasn't what I did here. I tried putting the ornaments in the bowl, then I put the harshies in there and eventually I will move the bowl into the kitchen with the harshies because my daughter started eating too many of them so I had to put them away higher. But you can see that when you're decorating it's always a process, you're always moving things around and then changing your mind a hundred times. We won't go until we get some, so bring some out here. The tidings we bring to you and your kids. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy I have two bins of toys for my daughter downstairs to play with, but I had to move those out of the way because it was getting a bit cluttered here. And as you can see, I brought those red berries in the vase and placed it there. And for the candle holders, I was deciding if I wanted to use them at all, and at the end, I decided to keep it simple because less is more. Now I'm moving on to the kitchen and I'm starting in this little area that I always decorate. Ever since I got this letter board, I liked to put, you know, seasonal little quotes that kind of inspire me and keep me on track. So I'm just removing the autumn, fall quote I had here, and then I'm going to start putting the one that I picked for Christmas. And I'm always including God and Jesus in it because I don't want to forget that life gets you off track sometimes and I like to have a good reminder on my letter board that I can look at daily. In today's world with all of the presents and decorations we can forget and lose track of what Christmas is really about. Now I'm removing all of the fall decor to have room for Christmas decor. And as you can see, I am leaving the pine cones and the cinnamon rolls because those are also kind of Christmassy. And now I'm gonna fill up this little cup with candy canes to give it a festive little feel and look. This 
This is another area in the kitchen that I love to decorate for seasons. So I'm just removing everything from here. There was a little bit pops of fall and I took those out. And now I'm just displaying whatever is left with the Christmas decor and playing around with it to see what goes best in this area. I ended up with this Christmas sign, the candle that I had for fall, which could be used also for Christmas because it is red and kind of a Christmassy flavor and fall flavor. And now I'm also putting this deer and I used the plant that I always have here. It kind of looks like it has flakes on it because it has like a little white powder on it. Onto the kitchen table, I am going to rearrange all of the ornaments for now into this basket because as of now, we don't have a Christmas tree. We are still looking for one. I don't want to overpay for one, but I do want a nice one. I don't want to end up with a situation like the garland. Just doing the finishing touches, lighting up the candles, putting a Christmassy towel to hang and display, and completing the room. For the outside, I am only putting a wreath this year, and then I am going to wrap these columns with this greenery. I always love looking back at, you know, all of the moments when I'm editing with my daughter, the interactions, and how adorable she acts. She's always trying to help me and copy what I'm doing, and it's really just cute to look back at, and that's my heart. By the end of the decorating, as you can see, it has gotten dark. We did start kind of late in the decorating, but it does take a while to decorate, especially when you are recording it as well. But I love how everything turned out. It's so traditional, so festive, and beautiful. As always, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys find this full of ideas and maybe helps you out to find your own style in decorating. And if you're not decorating this year, maybe it can just bring you some Christmas warmth or just find it entertaining to see how other people decorate for Christmas. If you liked how I decorated and if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will subscribe and stick around my channel for more. I hope all of you are having a great week and an early Merry Christmas to everyone.